What's up everybody, it's Christian from Viable, and today we're going to be doing super slow motion. In today's tutorial, we're going to be using After Effects and Premiere Pro, and I will be showing you my tips and tricks to do slow motion like you see in my Keystone edit. So let's get started. I have my clip here that I'm working on in my ski edit of pretty nice backflip. So first things first, right click and we gotta get this over to After Effects. So reveal and explore. Open up After Effects and then drag in your clip. I'm gonna shut down Premiere Pro just for speed purposes. Alright, once in After Effects, go find a spot that you want to slow motion. And I want to be getting this whole backflip. So I'm going to set my end point. And then my out point after I land. Alright, so right here. Then drag the clip in your timeline. Then select clip, go up to effect, and go to Twixter. Okay. So in Twixer, you want to set your frame rate input. If you want to see what your frame rate is for your clip, you can just go down to Explorer and right click and hit Properties. Scroll over to Details, and then your frame rate is in your details. So mine's at 120 frames per second and 1080p. So I, I can go put that in up here. And put 120. All right, so we're, now we're all good there. Now go down here, hit the down arrow, go down to Effects, Twixter. And we're going to be playing with the output control. Okay, so we want 100% speed from the beginning up until I start the backflip. So let's see where that would be. Bang. I want to start the slow motion right there. So I set another keyframe at 100. And then scroll over a little bit. And then set your third keyframe and put it down to whatever speed you want. If you're doing... If you shot in 120 frames per second, you, you'd be okay going down to like maybe 10% or 5%. And then we're going to slow this down again later, but we'll get to that. So if you shot in 60 frames per second, probably the max uh, slowdown you want to do is 20% speed before you, you start getting a little bit glitchy. I'm going to slow this down to 15%. Okay, and then we run into our first problem. Since we extended the, the time of the clip, it doesn't fit in our sequence anymore, so we have to go up to here to Composition and Composition Settings. And go down to Duration and make it a little bit longer. I'm just going to add 10 seconds. Okay. So your duration is longer. You're going to want to spread it all the way back out. Okay. Next problem. The time needs to be remapped so it can go extend past the original clip length. So you have to go up here and hit time, enable time remap remapping, and then you can extend the clip further still. Other effects you need, frame blending, you want pixel motion, and then turn on uh, frame blending over here. So that'll make it, that'll make the slow motion more smooth and less laggy with each, each frame coming in. So once you have all your slow motion in place, we don't need to render out the entire clip. Uh, we can just do a smaller workplace of just the area that needs slow motion. So right before I land, I'm going to bring the work area end bar over. And then you right click it and trim comp to work area. Okay, so this is just the part that needs slow motion. And then you can go up here to composition, add to render queue, output. Uh, specify where you want it to output to. I'm going to do Ski After Effects and then I'm going to name it Awesome Backflip. Perfect. Save. Lossless. Okay. Then we're going to render that out. Okay, so back in Premiere Pro for part two of the super slow motion tutorial. This is where the super comes into the slow motion basically. So go and get the rendered out clip from what we just did in After Effects. Let's see, mine's right here. Okay. And then bring it into your project. So this is a slow motion that we just did. Really smooth. The lag is just because my computer is not fast enough to 
load everything right now, but you can see that the slow motion is really smooth. This is renders out a little bit. There we go. Okay, the slow motion's good. So now to we can make this even slower in any editing software that you use. It doesn't really matter as long as you can do slow motion. You just go to speed and duration and slow this down again. So it's going to be a little bit of trial and error to find something that works exactly to get it as slow as you want it. I'm going to just going to try 50% and see how it looks. If you do this too much, it actually gets a little bit laggy and it distorts the quality a little bit. 50% looks really good for my purposes, and that's that. Super slow motion with After Effects and whatever editing software you use. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, I'm going to be making more After Effects, Premiere Pro, and GoPro tutorials in the near future. So subscribe for that, and leave a comment below saying what you want to see. Thanks for watching.